known as Lord's Feed on here. Today is a different kind of video. I'm currently in video production class and I received some Q&A questions. Uh, and I thought I have a channel. I might as well kill two birds with one stone. Um, where, where was I? <laughs> Say ooh. <laughs> uh, so for the first minute and a half, I'll be doing the school requirements for this project, like the script I'm reading. Yes, your boy is reading a script. Um, uh, thanks, writing me, and hello, future editing me. That's just a little bit of, um, you know, out there thinking outside the box from the, the me that wrote this in school. Um, uh, this video is for you guys. It's probably longer than the minute I mentioned. This video is split into two sections, uh, school project and normal YouTube content. So without further ado, let's answer these first three questions and talk a little bit about myself. Okay, first question I have here. Uh, this So now we may begin, that's past the intro. Um, now we may begin with the Q&A questions. Uh, first question I have here is what is my favorite word? To be honest, I don't really have one, but for the front of it, I'm just gonna say speed. I, I, what do I have to explain, you know? You, you see the channel, um, your boy loves the flash. What else do I have to say? I literally have a flash reverse flash poster in here. It's the same poster, but. Uh, second question, first job I wanted as a kid. When I was little, I wanted to play video games, and that is true. Video games were an outlet for me. I played them all the time. You know, I played Super Nintendo, Sega, Mortal Kombat 9, and Batman Arkham Asylum on the PS3. Then your boy grew up, got the PS4 back in 2020, and really broadened my reach of video games. I watched people like Corey play. Um, but that's not a part of the script. Let me go back to the script. Uh, when I was little, I wanted to play video games. I thought that was an actual job since I loved doing it myself. Uh, mind you, this is before I started watching YouTube and even saw people like Corey S. Kenshin or Belize. Uh, the first real job I wanted as a kid uh, was to be a firefighter. Um, that eventually changed and I wanted to be a teacher and then switched again to a lawyer. Uh, now I'm held between a lawyer, maybe an accountant or some kind of financial advisor. YouTube, <laughs> YouTube is still the main goal. Okay. Next question. Last question for this section is my most prized collection. I'm going to take advantage of the fact that the collection is multiple things. And so I'm just going to say my entire Dragon Ball statue uh, collection and Marvel Legends figure collection is my most prized collection. Uh, okay, that went well. I hope whoever's grading us enjoyed the video. The first section of this video is over. And if, you, you're, uh, if you're done watching now, hope to see you in the next video. And this, the school requirement is done. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, we're done with the script part. That was awkward. Your boy goes off script all the time. Um, when I wrote this script, which I already got graded 15 out of 15, um, it didn't really explain my answers because I didn't really feel like doing that, especially since the requirement was to only film like a minute and a minute and 30 seconds. But um, also for the script uh, to get full points, you're supposed to introduce yourself and say your full name. Uh, obviously, that's not happening in the video because I'm posting this on YouTube. You guys are not getting my full name. <laughs> you are going to know me as Lorsby for the rest of your life. You guys are not going to know. You guys are not going to know me. My name could be James, Chuck, Kyle, Dan. It doesn't matter. So, um, I want to go over these questions. Uh, let me do my form intro, formal formal intro. What's up, my fellow speechers? Speechers, it's Lord Speech, Shot Speed Force, and today we're here with your Q and A. Obviously, you guys just watched the school requirement part. That was a part of my project, so I can get my points for video production. Um, I'm taking that class because I've been doing videos of, on YouTube since 2019. Uh, I kind of delved a little bit into clipping on TikTok. I haven't done it that much, and. Uh, you know, I just kind of wanted to broaden my range and see how like PC works and how videos work besides the stuff that I've been doing with like PlayStation and Share Factory. Um, and my first project for the year was an about me vlog. Um, it's crazy how long this vlog was. I didn't get, not the vlog, but like how long they gave us to do it. Uh, and I didn't get around to doing it because of how long they gave us. So um, I finally, finally got to do it. Uh, I did this script like in the beginning of the school year. I'm in the second month now, uh, week six. And uh, yeah, I feel like that went well. But for the first question, uh, my favorite word, I, I didn't need to explain that, I didn't need to explain that. My second question, uh, first, what well, I wanted to be, again, I kind of went off script and started explaining myself. 
uh, gamer, you know, that was before I had an idea of what YouTube was at all and what YouTubers were. I just thought it would be really cool to be able to play games and uh, get paid for it. That was before my little kid brain had the concept of like people watch you and you get paid for ads that play on your videos and people donate to you. We do not care. I didn't have all that in my head. Uh, but yeah, again, the first job was firefighter. Uh, second grade me was like, oh my god, they're so cool, they're fighting fires, you know, putting out with water and stuff, and I mean, that's still a heroic job, but let's just say, let's just say, it would be very hard to retire from that job in the state that I live in. Let's just say my state is a job, it, my state is a, is a state where firefighters are usually volunteers. And they're not like a paid salary people. So um, that would be very odd of me to pick that as a main career. I wouldn't mind volunteering though. But um, and then you know, uh, I wanted. I didn't mention it, and I didn't mention this in the question. But uh, the job I picked after that was a teacher. I eventually changed, and I wanted to be a teacher. You know, I had some. I had a really nice teacher in third grade, and. Uh, um, I liked school at the time, uh, and I kind of liked my fourth grade teacher. I mean, I could tell I got on her nerves, and at the time she got on mine. Um, but I really wanted to be a teacher uh, when I used to go to my elementary school. Um, and then I also found out how much money they make um, and how much money I'll be putting into that career to basically be getting paid for nothing. And that's why people like Matt Damon, you know, uh, advocate for teachers so that they can make more money. Uh, instead of an actors and writers strike, we should be striking for the actual jobs that give, you know, education and things that actually affect their daily lives. You know, I could go without seeing an Iron Man or a Spider-Man movie, but teachers, no one advocates for them. Wow, I can't, I, oh my God, I can't write another Disney Plus show. <laughs> But, yeah, I wanted to be a teacher, and I realized that, uh, first off, that wasn't the thing for me. Uh, as I grew up, um, which kids weren't nice to me when I was in elementary school, but as I grew up, I realized, like, how much I was annoyed by the peers and people around me. So, I didn't really want to deal with that as an adult, like, deal with annoying kids. Um, so, yeah, it's just not the thing for me. Uh, but people that do it, I admire you. For having the patience some people don't have the patience like my fourth grade teacher but um then a lawyer uh can't really explain why i wanted to be a lawyer uh and it's not just like i want to make big bucks it's, <laughs> it's not it's not that it's not that um i just realized that lawyers can help people i mean i know there is some lawyers out there for the big bucks like i was saying or to just do another case but I realized you can actually really help people um, as a lawyer. Uh, it is a lot of time and money that you have to put into that career. Um, and obviously some people that are good in that profession, they get, you know, they get all that back. But I just, I feel like I'm able to talk and express myself and write and process information. That was just a whole bunch of glazing. Yeah, that brother stopped. But I feel like I have the skills not to be a lawyer, but to at least go down the road to be one. Uh, that makes sense. So an accountant, I feel like, again, with the processing information and math, I, I feel like I could do pretty good with money. That's why I also put a financial advisor. I feel like I could do pretty good at that. That's not like lawyer tiers of salary, but uh, those are just the two I'm looking at right now. I'm also looking at like probably maybe serving. I'm not going to put a bow in that. Don't don't think I'm that's not that's not me signing up that's not me signing up but um and then the last question my most prized collection um this is probably coming out before my 100th subscriber celebration that should have came out a long time ago but I showed off um it's a pre-recorded video from over in August um, but I showed off what my closet and stuff looked like at the time like my collection so uh, you guys will see that but I just have so many statues and figures and stuff it was just hard to pick one that I specifically like and stuff. So, 
I just, you know, I cheated the question and just said all of them. Because uh, it just said collection and say, like, which piece is specific in the collection. <laughs> yeah, um, boy. But now, I'm going to close that tab. We're done with the script. We're done with the three questions that I was forced to answer in a minute. Um, I hope I'm... <laughs> I hope that I'm not graded on the timing. Because it took a little bit longer than I thought to answer those questions. But... Um, now we're here with the questions like uh, so basically the way the Q&A worked for my about me vlog for school uh, I was given uh, 23 questions and I had to pick three questions for the vlog. Um, I don't know if they know how long your boy can talk or Turn it off Or how long vlogs usually are but a minute and 30 seconds for three questions is crazy uh, But yeah, we have 23 questions here. I already answered three um, and already gave more detail for those three. Uh, so we have 20 questions here that I didn't initially pick for the project that I'm just gonna do a Q&A for because your boy's just been streaming uh, and playing video games and you know uploading edits, intros and outros and playing these playthroughs and reacting. I haven't really said anything about myself. Um, I prefer that. I don't like to mix personal um, and you know private matters into internet and stuff because I feel like that's a separate aspect of life. So. Uh, I tend not to say anything like about me really. I mean, you know, my favorite color is red. My favorite color, my favorite person is the Flash. Like my favorite video game is Mortal Kombat, and all that kind of stuff. But you don't need to know like how old I am or where I live or you know that kind of stuff. So we're going to answer these questions to the best of my ability. I honestly forget these questions because I haven't seen them since September. Um, but yeah, let's hop in. Uh, so the first question we have here is your proudest atypical accomplishment that's uh, the time you build an Ikea dresser in an hour flat. Okay, so it's basically just a flex. What is my proudest atypical accomplishment? So like something that is like a little off, but and not a lot of people do it. Let me think about that. I mean, on my last channel, I was able to hit 2,000 subscribers, and that made me feel like really good about myself. Um, I don't want to mention that though because my channel like died like really bad and I had to delete the channel and restart and now we're here which was one of the best things that I did so maybe that's my favorite accomplishment when it comes to YouTube is like hitting that milestone uh, realizing that um, that part of the journey was over and being able to come to here because even though this channel only has 200 subscribers which I appreciate all of you I thank you for the support um, I really love this channel and there's nothing about it that makes me want to like, oh, I should delete it, I should stop, I should, you know, I should restart again. There's nothing about it. Like, the last channel, each time I uploaded on it, it ate away at me. And, uh, you know, restarting was pretty cool. That's not really an accomplishment. I guess accomplishment that I like is I was kind of proud of myself that I was able to work at a theme park as my first job. I mean, I didn't think I was getting the job. I remember I originally applied for ticketing. And they were like, nah, buddy. And I really thought I didn't get the job, and it kind of upset me. Um, one of the worst feelings is, it's a really bad feeling having a job, but it's also a bad feeling not having one. Um, so I didn't really have that feeling at first because it was my first job. I didn't have like, oh, I need a job. I worked before and I'm not working now. That's a bad thing. It wasn't like that. But um, it felt really bad to feel like you're getting denied. I mean, that happened to me with, I guess I could say this because this is like a big chain that's all over the country. Uh, after I left my first job, I tried to go to Target. That didn't work out. Tried to go to Best Buy. That didn't work out. And all of the rejection and them telling you you didn't have the skills as a minor with little to no experience in uh, retail. Kind of just, you know, but I was proud that I was able to go to a really big theme park as my first job as a ticket scanner. Um, at the front gate, I had to talk to thousands of people per day and repeat the same thing uh, over and over again. And I know I probably said where I worked at first, but um, I'm growing as a person and I'm going to leave it as a blank, a blank mystery. Okay, my number two question here was probably, oh, we already answered that. So, okay, three, uh, your biggest non-serious fear. Okay, so they put that because they didn't want anything too serious at school. They didn't want you to say, like, firearms. That's a real fear. Um, what's my non-serious fear? Um, I don't really have a non-serious fear. I'm just going to tell you guys my real fear. It's probably having, like, dementia, schizophrenia, or Alzheimer's. Like... 
aging or even getting to a point where your brain is messed up and you're no longer you like you lose the experiences you lose the memories of of who you are you lose that personality aspect and there's like something in your brain your brain's not working it's like warping like who you are and making you what it's making you seem what other perceive as crazy i'm not saying you're crazy i'm just saying other people will think that a schizophrenic person is a crazy person or somebody with you know acting out with dementia they'll say that's crazy so um that's my fear is to um get to a point where you know you're kind of just not you anymore and you don't really remember how you got to that point so uh, i don't really have a non-serious fear so i just answer the question straight up uh the first job you wanted when you were little we already answered that the super the senior superlative you should win this year, uh, when, why you think you're deserving, be creative with this one. Superlatives can be anything. What is superlatives? Bro, oh, I'm just looking this up. Definition. Superlative. Am I, am I saying this correctly? Am I saying this correctly? Let's listen to it. Let's listen to this. Superlative. Superlative. What? Superlative. Superlative, a superlative that I should win this year. Um, I think maybe I should win the 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 bravery award. Um, obviously, I said before school year started that um, your boy wasn't going to school, like physical school, for a long time, and I kind of just got thrown in the middle of high school back into public school. I mean, that was my choice. I wanted to go back and experience. What everybody else does and see if I was missing out on anything in life. I didn't want to like have regret. I hate having regrets. Um, and I didn't want to be in college or be a grown man serving or be a grown man working and be like, dang, I never experienced actual high school. So I went back to it and it's pretty interesting. Again, it just feels like another waste of time, another day to day thing, just like cyber school. Um, it seems like something I'm going to be easily tired of. I'm not like tired, tired of it, but. Um, maybe I couldn't win an award for that just being like yeah, man, you're brave You chose to go and you knew no one you didn't know the layout of the school. I don't know I'm not gonna like say something crazy like I should win an intelligence award because I'm I'm the highest in my class class rank one <laughs> No, and that's also a lot I'm not class rank one, but um Okay, six your go-to comfort binge TV show say something like the office friends fresh prince of bel-air. No, I am not saying either of those. My comfort binge. Ooh, I don't I don't really binge shows multiple times, but there is one anime that I watched two times. It was Naruto Part 1. Um I watched it initially in 5th grade. Uh, I got to the point where Naruto and Sasuke fought and then they, I watched the part where Naruto went off with Rock Lee, Tenten and Neji to go fight the guy named Raiga. Um that's all Netflix had at the time. And I didn't watch the whole back half of um, the filler, the stuff that wasn't in the manga. And then I ended up going back to Naruto like in 2021 and rewatching the entire story plus Shippuden with my mom. So um, watching that show, like even the first couple episodes and the Zabuza arc and shooting these amps, it's really nostalgic for me. It reminds me of fifth grade. It reminds me of all the friends that I had back then and the friends that convinced me to watch it and stuff. My favorite friend, friend group, I mean, I have friends now, but it still doesn't, still doesn't really what, add up to what I had back then. So, um, yeah, Naruto. Uh, seven, something you were embarrassingly late to realize. Okay. What was I late to realize? I was late to realize that not everybody ties their shoes like me. I was probably like, no, I'm not going to say that one. You guys can keep that one. You guys can keep that piece of information. Uh, I tie my shoes differently. I do the little bunny ears and tie. I don't wrap around and do all that. But um, my mom, when I was a little kid, made me believe that Marvel and DC superheroes were real. I thought that the actors in the movies were just playing the actual characters. What? Because, like, I know this doesn't make any sense, because why would they make a movie about Spider-Man reveal that he's Peter Parker? That don't make any sense. But I thought Spider-Man was actually in New York, and Tobey Maguire was just an actor playing the character, like a little biography movie. Um, and then, when I was in second grade, 
eight years old, I finally found out the truth about the holidays. Don't want to say just in case a kid clicks on the video. Um, and I also found out the truth about superheroes. So that's kind of crazy that for eight years or while, I guess the years that I was able to talk and understand other people, I actually believed there were superheroes in New York. And I actually believe people like Dr. Doom and Galactus <laughs> were real. Okay, um, your celebrity crush. I remember reading that back in September for this and I was like, there is no way you're gonna catch me putting that in a school vlog. I don't know if I have a celebrity crush. Like, I don't know if there's someone that I look at and I'm like, dang. I wish I was a celebrity too, or dang, I wish they went to school with me and they were younger. Like the same age as me. You tried to catch me there. Um, hmm, let me think. Let me think. I, I don't really, yeah. I don't really like fetishize or like get obsessed with celebrities like some people. Like, you know, some people watch Wednesday or uh, Stranger Things and One Piece and they start making edits of all the girls that they like in those shows. Um,. I actually think this, I may skip this one. I, I don't think I have a celebrity crush. I don't think there's really anybody that I'm like, dang, dang, bro. I need to have that Brian Reynolds. Okay, your best celebrity sighting. I mean, I'm gonna tell you the story. Every day I wake up, even cyber school, back in elementary, back in middle school, back when I was born, I got up, walk to the bathroom and I look in the mirror that's my best celebrity sighting every single day 24 7 your boy Lord speed that's my best celebrity sighting. Brilliant. I've never seen a celebrity before in my life I've never seen a celebrity and what I actually care like would I be like oh my god Kai Sinax in the middle of New York and he's giving away free PCs time to stomp on a car no um, I guess my best celebrity sighting is seeing seeing my boy Ace Wash. I'm the only person. I'm the only person that knows what he looks like that also knows that he has a YouTube channel. That makes sense because obviously his family knows what he looks like, and his friends at school knows what he looks like, and the people we work with at our real job knows what we, he looks like. But I'm the only person that knows that he has a YouTube channel and that he's Ace Wash. So that's my best celebrity sighting is walking into the grocery store we work at and seeing him on the register and I'm like, dang, that's Ace and he's not uploading. Okay, um, what's your last, uh, what, what your last meal on earth would be? Ooh, last meal. Okay, so my last meal, I would love one beef patty. Yeah, and then boy. one empanada just so I could get the dough and like they're both kind of the same I know I'm probably gonna get some hate from those cultures <laughs> Bro, the Spanish people and the Puerto Ricans are gonna be mad at me. Okay beef patties I know taste very different, but the way they're made is kind of similar Just give me that one. Just give me that one, but I would love both of those as the primary dish uh, maybe some mac and cheese. My mom makes a seafood mac and cheese. Put some lobster and some shrimp in there. That'll be my last meal. Like, I guess we're assuming that in another universe, your boy grew up in the hood and I was a criminal and I'm getting the life sentence right now from I robbed too many people. So, um, my last meal as a 90 year old man before I'm about to pass away. Um, they're like, what do you, what do you want to speed? They're like, give me them bananas. Um, but yeah, the, the seafood mac and cheese, you can't go wrong with baked beans, man. You can't go wrong with baked beans. I know someone's going to say, well, 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 no, there is no well, 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 baked beans is for everybody. Um, I could have said collard greens and fried chicken, but I didn't, I didn't. Your boy would have just went to KFC if that was the case. So yeah, we're going empanadas, beef patties, baked beans some mac and cheese my last drink my last drink Ooh, the last drink a part of the last meal let me think some cream soda cream soda always hits the spot man sometimes i look at cokes or pepsi and i'm like damn i'm not really thirsty for that right now cream soda i need it cold and i need the fizz at the top that just tastes like straight cream I need the fizz at the top that just tastes like straight cream 
pause. But, and what would the dessert be? What's my favorite dessert? Apple pie. I love apple pie. Uh, my mom makes a dessert called apple dumpling. It's just like, it's just apple pie. <laughs> but many versions. So, yeah. That would be my last meal. Uh, very specific, very different. You know, some people would have just had a cheeseburger and some french fries, which you could just go get at McDonald's or Gilligan's. Um, but, yeah. Uh, number 11, the trip you most want to take but haven't. Ooh. Ooh. Where is a place that I want to go but I haven't been yet? I mean, it would be awesome to take a trip to Japan. I don't know any Japanese, so I don't know how... I hope people there speak English, so I'm able to, like, I hope I don't get lost. Um, but I would love to just go to Japan. It's not me, like, fetishizing, like, anime and, like, those weirdo people. Um, I'm not going to be, like, another YouTuber that went there and got, like, major canceled from making a vlog. But I, w I would just like to go to Japan just to explore a different part of the world. Um, to see, like, the neon lights and all that kind of stuff and just see their culture, their food and all that um so yeah that would be really really nice to go to is japan um okay we're number 12 an amazing piece of trivia from your spotify or other music streaming account so we're going to go youtube i don't use spotify i only use youtube i listen to playlists i have a youtube playlist where i just listen to anime remixes uh ost also have funk and like the anime edit music <laughs> like a TikTok, you know that kind of stuff i listen to that uh, while i'm working out in school and working out in my free time here so um an embarrassing piece i guess it's kind of embarrassing that your boy listens to anime remixes and TikTok edit music i guess that's embarrassing to some because some people are going to be like you're a degenerate you're you're a, you're a brain you, your brain is rotten from TikTok." so there you go. If you find that embarrassing, then yeah. Uh, your, fav your favorite word, do not choose a cuss word. What is my favorite word? To be honest, I don't really have one, but for the front of it, I'm just gonna say speed. You chose that one, right? Your favorite word. That was the normal one. Okay, I thought, I, at first my brain was like, I already answered this. Wasn't this at the top? No, uh, I already selected that in the first part of this video. So uh, yeah, I already said speed to that question. Um, because if I put Lord, that would be very questionable. Yes, King. <laughs> okay, my least favorite word. I don't think there's any word that is my least favorite. Uh, your boy doesn't curse, so I'm not... Let's just say... Oh my god. This is probably the most rated R I'm going to get on here. I hate a certain word that people say to their friends and say to people they're cool with. You guys can do the mental math and see which word I'm talking about. Bro. People didn't say it as much when I was in junior high. Like, like seventh grade. I come back to high school and I hear it every single day through the hallways, every single sentence. And mind you, I ride the bus with high schoolers and middle schoolers. It's like the middle schoolers have to prove themselves to someone. Bro, cursing every single sentence and one of the words that they're saying is the word that's my least favorite word. It's just annoying to hear. Like, I don't have anything against, I'm not like one of those people that are like, if you say it, everybody should be able to say it. I, I don't really care about all that. I'm just saying, people use it all the time, every single sentence. It like replaces bro. You could literally just say bro or homie. But no. You anger me. And you Spanish people, the Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, Dominicans, you gotta say it the most. At my school, at my school is very questionable. You guys got something to prove too. I don't know what's going on. Even the Filipinos at my school. Okay, a superstition that I have. Uh, superstitions like, like something that I believe in that's kind of weird. Um, like people that are like the black cats are evil, or people say that the goats are devil related and snakes. What's a superstition that your boy actually has? I mean, I could just talk about the speed force, but some people will say that I'm lying and just making a joke. No, uh, an actual superstition that I have is... I haven't thought about this. Like some of these questions don't apply to me or my, my thought process from day to day. What's a super, what's something that I believe in? 
I mean, um, I have a personal theory. I don't know if this is considered a superstition, so I'm just going to say it because I can't think of anything else and I don't want to drag on the video. Um, I have a personal superstition, a theory, that perhaps what we perceive as Greek mythology, Egyptian mythology, Norse mythology may actually not be the religion but be the fictional characters that they made like you know how we have Captain America, Batman, Superman, Wolverine, you know Marvel, DC, Invincible, The Boys, all these different comic book characters, all these different video game characters, Kratos, you know you know, we have all these fictional characters, and if we all just died, got wiped out by an eclipse, a solar eclipse, the ice age started, and most of us died, but some humans remained, and they rebuilt civilization, they re-went through the civil war, slavery, world wars, they went through all of that again, and then they started exploring the world, colonization, you know, spreading throughout the world, and they thought that they were the first ones again, but then they go back and see where we used to live, and then they see like a Goku statue. Then they see a Spider-Man statue. And then they see a Flash poster in my room. They might think that we believed in them. I personally don't believe in Goku. <laughs> so yeah, that's just a little theory that I have. I don't think it's true. I just think it's interesting to think about because we don't really know anything about those cultures. Um, I mean, there there's people higher than me that go to college for these things, that specialize in these things. And they say at least that um, this was the religion, this is what they abided by. But with characters like Captain America, uh, that is supposed to represent the American ideal, uh, we see that he represents everything that we as Americans, quote unquote, uh, want to be and want to have in our civilization. So um, characters like Zeus or Hercules, they also may embody their values, but not be people that they exactly believe in. You get what I mean? Uh, I agree with the morals and values that Captain America has as a character. But that doesn't mean that I believe in him as an actual person that I think is real and is causing stuff in our world. You know what I mean? So I just think it's interesting to think about since we can't time travel and actually know what happened back then. Um, but uh, 16, your most unusual pet. Uh, I mean, there's some people that have snakes and, you know, iguanas and stuff. So, uh, but... There's, there's people that have like cats, dogs, hamsters and stuff that think that reptiles are strange. So uh, my favorite reptile that I ever had, he sadly passed away, his name was Thor, uh, was a bearded dragon. He was actually from the old school that I went to and then the teacher um, didn't have anybody to watch him over the summer. And um, it wasn't my teacher, it was a teacher that my mom was a friend with because she worked at the school that I went to. And um, he, he needed a house to go to, so we watched him over the summer, and then the teacher, when school started, she was like, uh, give me back my bearded dragon and stuff. And my mom was like, find, trying to find a day that she can do it, so eventually she took it, she gave it back to the teacher, because it, it was hers. Um, and then, randomly, he started turning black, and he had like blood on his mouth, and the teacher was like, oh no, no, you, got, you guys can have him, you had him all summer, he's connected with you guys now. And when we took him back home, he, he died like the next day. So um, I'm pretty sure he got dropped. Um, made me really sad as a kid. Made me not like the teacher because she could have literally just admitted that uh, she didn't know how to take care of him. Um, because I held him all the time and I never dropped him. So And I was way younger than her. Unless like small hands help. Uh, um, okay, the longest travel day or delay you've ever experienced. Okay. The longest travel I've ever done is... Hey, this question almost got me. Uh, I almost said where I was going. Let's just say I did a 13 hour drive with stops. So uh, it took 13 hours from where I was going to, from where I was from to where I was going. And then there was also stops. We drove at nighttime to try and get there in the afternoon. And uh, I just got a message, but yeah, um, it took, it took that uh, amount of time, like 13 hours, and then drives and stops and stuff. So it was really long. Luckily, um, I was when I was a little kid, I had like a high like amount of patience. So um, it wasn't really too bad for your boy, but man, sitting down for a long time is crazy. I mean, over the summer, uh, I went to Virginia 
uh, and it took like six to seven hours and took like eight hours to get back. That that was insane. It, <laughs> oh man, just sitting in a car on your phone. Uh, I mean, I, you talk to the family, but man, sitting in a car that long just makes you tired. It makes you not want to talk or do anything fun anymore. It just kind of makes you want to go to sleep or get home or get to your destination. So, um, uh, 18, a contest you once won. Uh, let's say you and your friend dressed up. Oh, okay. That, 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 let's just give an example of how to answer the question. So, what's a contest that I once won? I, I mean, I don't think I've ever... Because I never played sports. Uh, I played flag football when I was a kid. Uh, and my mom taught me how to throw a baseball and a football and how to shoot a basketball. But I used to play with my older brother uh, basketball like almost every day since my parents forced me to go outside. Uh, back then. So I used to play basketball every day, but I never won anything like sports related. Education, I mean, a little flex. Oh, got these three medals for my sixth grade graduation when I left elementary school. Uh, yes, my the elementary school that I went to, not my, I started there in fifth grade, but it was uh, kindergarten to sixth grade. So uh, yeah, I guess I got those three medals um, and that was a very fun time for me, uh, leaving sixth grade, but then realizing that I had to do the same thing over again next year, but even more different was seventh grade, which was considered junior high. So, um, okay, let's go to 19. A poem or song or scene from a movie that you memorized. The trick here is to pick one that you, that's long enough to be notable, not so long you'll be asked to demonstrate. Okay, a poem or a song or a scene from a movie that I've memorized. Oh, man. Uh, when I first saw Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, my favorite Marvel movie and my favorite movie in general, I literally memorized Miguel O'Hara's line uh, from him talking to Miles when he was like, the spider that bit you wasn't from your dimension. <laughs> you were never meant to be Spider-Man. If that spider wouldn't have bit you, the Peter Parker from your world wouldn't have died. <laughs> like, I had the whole thing down packed, not just like bits and pieces. I actually memorized it. Um, and then I remember the, nah, man. Oh, wait, I'm tired of everyone telling me how my story's supposed to go. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. You know? <laughs> I love the train scene of Miles getting chased by Miguel. I love that scene so much. Uh, it kind of. I never questioned for a minute that Miles Morales was Spider-Man, but I feel like in that moment, it just made it impossible for all the haters to feel like that he wasn't Spider-Man. So, um, yeah, I feel like that was a coming of age story and a coming into the Spider-Man story, but um, yeah, that was the scene that I used to be able to remember. I mean, I remember bits and pieces now, but um, it's been, it's October now. It's been like four months since I saw that. It's crazy how fast life goes by. If you were an animal, what animal would you be and why? I would be a gorilla. And I don't need to explain. <laughs> okay, 21. Something everyone seemingly knows what to do, but you don't know how to do it. I mean, since I'm just going to say it, I admire people that are bilingual. Um, I admire the, the, the skill to know different languages and like hear people speaking different languages and be able to understand their vocabulary. I mean, if you think about it, just think of this, just like stay with me here. If you think about it, people speaking English and Spanish, for example, that's just the two languages that I've chosen because that's like the two most spoken languages in America. Um, let's say hola and hi, for example, let's keep it simple. Um, they both mean the same thing, but if you really think about it, people that are speaking Spanglish and mix between the two, they're intermixing, and it's kind of because they're just synonyms, basically. You know, they're just two words that mean the same thing, but in the two, and when you're in a different region, you're not speaking English at all, so they say it's a completely different language. But technically, if you want to think about it, synonyms are just words that mean the same thing. That's all translations are. Amazing. So, um, the skill that everybody seems to have is, 
you know, being able to speak multiple languages. You know, besides America, a lot of other countries, it's important for them to, you know, know English plus their, their you know, home language. So I really admire that, being able to know different things. And obviously, I go to school with people that speak Spanish and, um, you know, some people even speak Portuguese, which was interesting to find out. Um, but yeah, I admire those kind of people that are able to do that. I, I really, I, I wish I had that skill. Um, okay, and then 22, if you could switch lives with someone for one day, who would it be and why? I mean, if we're going to switch lives with a fictional character, Barry Allen, Barry Allen's body for one day is mine. But if we're switching bodies for a real person, I mean, there is no person I'm like, dang, I want to be, I want to be in their body. Like, is he going to be in mine? Like, <laughs> yeah, there is, I... We're just going to change the question up and say that my body's sleeping while he's in it because there is no way that I'm going to let some dude live my life and do because I'm not I'm not I am not trying to come back into my body and then this dude got me in prison for a life sentence. I'm not doing that. There is no way. So I'm thinking too much into this, but um, I am going to say oh, whose body would I? Like, what would I even gain from switching bodies with someone for a day? I mean, I could wire money if I became Elon Musk, wire back to my bank account, but I'm pretty sure he's going to realize that. I guess any rich person, like any rich person doesn't have to worry about the day-to-day -day bills and struggles of working and being like a normal person. I guess it would be interesting to live their life and see what their life is actually like, because um, and, you know, a lot of YouTubers and celebrities and people of that, you know, influencers, they make their life seem like it's very perfect and they let out all the best parts of their life. But obviously we know that not everybody's life is perfect and not every single aspect of your life is going to be like this, this grand thing that everybody's going to love. So it would be interesting to see what a rich person's life is actually like and what they have to deal with as a rich person. More preferably... Uh, influencer, a celebrity, or YouTuber rich person, not like a, a business rich person that actually still has to go to work to keep getting money. So um, that would be interesting. I don't really have a specific person because I think that would just be weird if I like, I instantly, instantly when I read the question, I'm like, I want to be Drake. You know, tomorrow. No, that would be, <laughs> you know. Um, so we, we're we going, we're almost at the end, guys. If you could, oh, wait, we are at the end. Okay, 23. The best piece of advice you ever received from, from someone. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. The best piece of advice that I ever received from someone. Um, I I don't really have a specific person. Uh, I do have a specific person. Um, I'm not going to say the name of the teacher, so Perfect. we're just going to call him Mr. Yo. Um, or what What else can I say? Because Mr. Yo actually sounds like it could be like a real name. Okay, we're just going to call the dude, um, what's the dude's name from The Flash again with the wheelchair? Harry, uh, Harrison Wells. So we're just going to say Mr. Harrison Wells, my sixth grade teacher. Um, people were getting bullied. Uh, people... I was never bullied at my school that I went to in sixth grade, but people were being, you know, a little, little weird uh, and they picky, I guess, about certain things. So he had a talk with us uh, at the end of the day, and I don't think anybody else probably remembers this conversation from class, but he said, um, the way you should live your life is if you don't care about the person, why do you care about what they have to say? And that always stuck with me. I mean, there's things that my mom and dad taught me and things that life taught me and things that school taught me, uh, like lessons that I've gained from different friends that I've had, the different experiences I had as a kid. But I guess the most non-personal one that I can say here is that one. And I feel like I wanted to say it because people should take it in mind since we're on the internet. Uh, I take this with me with like work friends, uh, friends that I'm making now, uh, school from that point on, like after sixth grade. Uh, anything like even the internet when i made that chorus kenshin parody video um like chorus kenshin's evil when people were commenting on the hate comments and stuff uh, i keep that to me like if you don't care about the person if you don't know them 
that they have no significance to you. They're not family. They don't know anything about you. They don't care about you. Why do you care and let what they say bother you? I feel like if everybody lived their life that way, then, I mean, I don't want to get specific, but I feel like life would be so much better if, if you just ignored everything that everybody said, if you just let them sound stupid, you just let them keep yapping, you just let themselves, you just let them bury their own grave and just let them, you know, stay in a hole full of just disrespect and toxicity and negativity. If you just let them stay over there and you just have all that positivity and respect and all the morals that you gained over your lifetime and from your, you know, parents and stuff, I feel like life would be better if you didn't listen to that and let people tear you down for no reason. You could be whatever you want. You could do whatever you want as long as you're not hurting anyone. And you can live your life the way you want because you only have one life to live and it's yours. So that's the way I live my life. I don't let, don't let anybody else bother me. Obviously, I'm not a robot. So, I mean, I could be. You guys don't know me. But, yeah, this is, this is the end of the Q&A. <laughs> yeah, boy. Um, had a lot of fun. This is the most you're going to get from me. Because I'm supposed to be streaming right now. Mortal Kombat, I'm supposed to be like, Oh my god! Oh my god, Titan Shang Tsung is back! That's that's what I'm supposed to be doing. But it's cool to be able to do different things and express how I feel. And, you know, this is different for me. But, yeah, I enjoy doing these kind of videos. I actually have another school project video that I have to do soon about Beowulf. Yay, Beowulf, the best story ever in existence. But... Yeah, it was cool answering these generic questions because I have nobody else to ask me the questions or, you know, subscribers that are going to comment questions for me. So no, whenever we get to that point, I could do a part two or like a continuation of like, you know, actual questions that you guys have for me besides the computer generated questions for a school project. But uh, again, if my either my video production teachers watch this, I hope you enjoyed the entire video. Um, it's been your boy, Lord Speed. Hope you enjoyed this school project Q&A and all the questions that I answered in this one. I know it takes a long time, but your boy is a professional yapper. Um, so yeah, on right, don't forget to strike the like button, share and subscribe, go check out previous videos on the channel. Check the channels I subscribe to, and I'll see you guys.